Hello guys, uh, my name is Anton. Welcome to this first episode of the show Community Currencies Now, which is a show made by the Community Currencies Alliance, uh, which will be consisting of approximately five to ten episodes where I'll be having the company of different pioneers within the field of both blockchain technology and uh, community currencies. So the show is pretty much for everyone from beginner to expert either wanting to maybe learn the essentials of community currencies or the expert wanting to know who else is in the field, maybe who to reach out to. Uh, and pretty much it's going to focus essentially not on the things of uh, blockchain and community currencies in their distinct separate way, but focusing on how they interact with each other and how blockchain technology has allowed community currencies to maybe work in a way that it hasn't before. Uh, I'd say I was a beginner uh, when starting out this uh, show and I've definitely learned a lot so I hope you guys can too. Uh, yeah so put your feet up and enjoy this first episode in which I'll be talking to Carla from Campiatis which is a project that has something to do with changing how organizations are run, social currencies and also basically the dynamic uh, between providers and users of different kinds of projects or products sorry so uh yeah enjoy put your feet up uh enjoy the episode and enjoy my different hairstyles throughout these interviews hey anton i'm hey. doing great and thank you for having me awesome it's nice to have you here so just to start out carla i was just wondering if you could tell us a bit about yourself who you are and kind of what your journey has been towards working on Compi Artists, which we'll hear about in a minute. Sure. Um, well, I'm from Costa Rica. Uh, my, my full name is Carla Juaneta Cordova Brenes. I have long name in Latin America. <laughs> Great. Um, and uh, I'm from San Jose, Costa Rica in Central America. Um, I always tell my story like in, so I think I'm, I'm living now probably third for life already. My first life was in communications, advertising, marketing, major in the university. I, I love to talk with people to express ideas. And I love things like radio and producing uh, materials for others to understand stuff. So I did that for, for a lot of time commercially, which was not so good. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I was like, mm, this is not for me. Yeah. Then I I went to the nonprofit sector because I wanted to do that, but for an impact, being being um, making a change, right? Uh huh. Awesome. So that was my my second life. I did a, like a almost a decade of nonprofit work in, in the environmental sector here in Costa Rica, which is really strong. Which is the country famous for that for the conservation program. And uh, then I did that, and I did a lot of fundraising which is awful. Okay. <laughs> not recommend to anyone. It's awful. Yeah. It's needed. It was needed at the moment for non profit That's the, the only way at the moment. Uh, so I did that and I was really frustrated about this process and the dependence on nations and what happened when a crisis at the 2008 that hit it far here in the country because many of the funds were environmental conservation programs were coming from the U.S. and the U.S. was in full crisis. There was no fund, no funds for it. So it, is, it, it was insane because we, have, we had everything. We had the project, the people, and the, and the ideas, and the community that wanted to work with us. And we were not able to do anything because we, have, we had the money, right? Okay. Uh, and then I met my now husband, par partner in crime, co-founder <laughs> of Yatu, uh, Ranul Fufaiva, my husband, uh, he's Brazilian. Yeah. We've been living in between Costa Rica and Brazil for the last 10 years. And then he introduced me to the idea of the social and complementary currency and the idea that you uh -huh. know, two types of money can be created. That was like, right? Uh, <laughs> blew, my, blew my mind. And, yeah. and I, I and I thought, okay, you're you're staying with me. <laughs> and I got married. <laughs> Great. And and uh, and we founded uh, first uh, the sustainability school, which was to to 
share the idea of money, what money is, how can you create these types of money. We, we created books and, for example, New Money for Sustainability is one of our books that you can find on Amazon or even free on the website. And, uh, and, and curses and things like additional things. And then we, 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 we um, discovered that teaching this idea was not enough. So we decided to create Cambiat to have like the tools so people could learn like the ideas and come here and play and create things. Yeah. Like, easy. So that was my, this is my third life. Yeah. So now, <laughs> technology and currencies. Let's see what life uh, brings me uh, there. And, and, and I did, I, I did my master's in community development. I love facilitation, working with people. The governance part has been really close to my heart. The idea of how we can create organizations that are different, that are that are uh, evolving over time, that are like like living beings. Yeah. I love I love to explain Cambiatus as a living organism. Uh, I love that, and I did also a program at Singularity University on financial technologies in Silicon uh -huh. Valley. I also learned what I don't like about the the startup and and like Silicon Valley style. Yeah. Um, we are creating different things so uh -huh. that's my quick, quick story yeah a bunch of stuff sounds like a good story of passion story. values <laughs> and love and everything that's and awesome love. yeah it's like a best seller already right? <laughs> that's great <laughs> well let's let's dive a little bit uh deeper into the company artist project uh now i can hear how you, when you speak that there's there are a lot of uh like values behind it as well and philosophy mm -hmm. so maybe we can just start from like a high level view where you explain the project just in general terms and maybe also what kind of goals and values are behind it and then we'll go into the specifics as we just go along cool i love that question <laughs> fantastic question nice um um yeah well pretty like like the basic uh, definition of cambiatus is that open open source platform that allows people to create social currencies or complementary currencies, which is a technical term, and collaborative businesses using blockchain technology. Uh, and I'm going to, going to break down those ideas. Um, so the idea is first it's open, so it's open in terms of the tech that you can find on GitHub, anyone can collaborate. This is pretty common in the blockchain sector, right? Yeah. I'm not, and that's so innovative, but it is important. It's important because it's actually a philosophy too. The idea of open, only tech or code, but knowledge. Open as in terms of transparency is also part of our our ethos. Uh, also, how the organization works, right? So that's yeah. very important. And we're funded by the Shiro World Foundation. Uh, like the seed funding for Cambiatus came from the Shiro World Foundation, which is a social uh, investor organization that focuses on open open projects i mean in broader terms open tech open knowledge open education yeah and um, so that's one of main issue the second the second com uh, 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 element or it's money right so if we think about the money we use uh, fiat money like dollars euros uh, here in Costa Rica, all that money has is embedded. We accept it, right? Yeah. A lot, a lot of values. We don't think a lot about. Uh, for example, um, this money is based on debt. So credit and debt is something that is intrinsic part of the money we use, the banking system. Yeah. Uh, and debt is, by definition, scarce, right? It's like have small pool of resources that you're distributing to pay back interest and that's enough money to produce more and maybe i don't know go out and cook some mountain trees more and then right so <laughs> it has direct impact on the mental issues we have today this com uh, this competition this scarcity model the idea that we need to produce more to pay back to keep asking for more to keep paying back uh, the idea that many companies actually abuse the the human rights of people because they need to be more productive over time, in, in infinitely more productive, which is not uh, natural world. 
So those, those values are in the money we use from uh -huh. the banks. And the money that we create through Cambiato has different values. It okay. is not based on currency, it's based in abundance, right? So it's based on what? In abundance. Ah, okay. Abundance. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, I'm going to explain that a little bit later. So it's, it's abundant. It doesn't matter if it's a, a lot of social currency around. The important, the important thing is that it's circulating, connecting people. Yeah. So it's based on collaboration. Uh, the currencies are mostly created when people complete an action that uh -huh. is with their community. For example, there is a community here in Costa Rica called Verdes. They uh, live in beautiful, there's a beautiful city called Monteverde, really beautiful out forest, touristic place. People are really connected with nature. So they, during the pandemic, they had a lot of issues, economical issues, because tourism was not active. Uh, many people were unemployed. Yeah. They decided to create a currency to keep the local economy going and to keep the environmental action going. So if you go and volunteer for an environmental organization in, in, in Monteverde, you can earn verdes. Dones, not dollars, verdes, which is a social currency that only circulates in that city. Uh -huh. You can earn verdes. And because you did something good, now you have the money, then you can expand it. Right? That's how it works. If you do more positive action, then you get more verdes and you can use it. Pay for a coffee or to pay to, for a sleep lesson from someone else from the community and they have a really vibrant market, digital and physical market. Like yeah. So it's based on good positive action first, not in debt, not in credit first, not good actions, then money, then you can buy things. So basically what you have like a group of people who maybe mm -hmm. really want to change uh, something about planting trees in their local area or something. For example, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. if you like plant a tree and it's, I guess, I don't know if you have a kind of verification, we can maybe get into that later. Uh, but uh, then you get this currency for, uh, that the group yeah. has kind of, uh, they agree that it's worth something. And then mm -hmm. you can use it within that group. Is that basically how it works? You got it. So the, the value comes from the value that the group has agreed is within planting a tree, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, I think <laughs> the currency is backed by the actions, right? If you yeah. have actions for trees planted, you will have more money. Okay. Right? So, uh, yeah. In, our, in a current system, if you have money, probably are going to be less trees because you're going to uh, keep producing and extracting, <laughs> right? Yeah. But yes, that's the, that's the, that's the gist of it. You have more details. Okay. Um, but you have already the, the full extent. As you said, a group of people, community, they agree on something that is important to them, yeah. right? They have a common purpose, which is planting trees, preserving this forest. Okay? Then they have made a decision to use something to exchange between them, which is the verdes, this currency. And this verdes is accepted because they trust this right it's mm -hmm. based on trust if they know i know if i have verdes you're going to accept my verdes to pay for your tomatoes yeah and then you get verdes because you know you can use your verdes to pay for a coffee a downtown coffee shop right which is mm -hmm. actually something you can do you can go to Monterrey <laughs> and pay for coffee that's using awesome your verdes. yeah okay so that 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 what what you just said right the, the example is, is actually following the definition of money that we use which is, which is inspired by the work of Bernard Yetai. Uh, Bernard Yetai was a professor and economist, one of the people behind the Euro system when it started. Mm -hmm. uh, he also was involved with Bancor, another blockchain project. And he sadly passed away a couple of years ago. But he was really good. I really recommend his books and videos on the internet, Bernard Yetai. And his definition of money inspired our definition of money, which is Money is an agreement yeah. between a community that that find uh, uh, something a standard item that is at least yeah. as a medium of change, right? So yeah. that's that. Those are the social currencies in Cambiato, 
so the important thing is the community. It starts with people, not it doesn't start with technology. So our process is first, we have a three-step process. Uh, the uh -huh. first step is the first step is uh, the mindset change. It's learning. So people that want to create a community with candidates by learning what is money, what are blockchain technologies, how you use it, right? All these ideas. Uh -huh. Second, second, we do the code assign. So code the the currency, the agreement, how it will work, uh, what are the objectives, what kind of actions we want to encourage to do, how much verdes or the currency we are creating, each action will reward people with, and how it will work, right? The, all the agreements. And then after that, we go to the tech, which is yeah. these web apps that we so people can have their currency, send it over, claim actions, be verify it. You can be a verifier to verify actions from other people. You have a shop. I can show you a little bit of the app. Mm -hmm. So basically, so uh, sorry for interrupting. <laughs> uh, like no, no. when when the, these organizations come to you guys at Cambiatus, right? Is that then that's once they already agreed to make a cryptocurrency or like a social currency, I guess we can call it more more likely. Uh, or do you guys also like approach already existing organizations or like areas to create the, the projects there? Or do people contact you for the specific project that they already have? Yeah, it, I mean, both things can happen. Uh, okay. it, it, uh, the, the communities have, they have evolved and joined uh, very organically. So we have like use network effect, right? Uh, connect. We are also intentional in which community we would love to, to have as Cambiatus members. Yeah. So all the communities are members of Yatri, which is, is, is important. So from the original definition we had opened, we had social currency, we had collaborative business. And uh -huh. that's our, our, our way of saying DAO, right? So DAO yeah. is for us the <laughs> blockchain, uh, centralized autonomous. But yeah. that's a really long name yeah <laughs> to, to explain to people in democracy or <laughs> we'll just call it uh, house so we, we call it collaborative business okay. and it's it's like uh, in here in costa rica for example cops co cooperatives are really common and really strong people understand pretty easy that a co-op is something that you're a member of that you get a benefit like financial benefit and you can make so basically that's a DAO, right? Mm -hmm. You're a member of something, you have a financial benefit, you contribute something, then you get a, the, the the right also to vote or to make decisions. Co-ops yeah. are different because they don't use the technology as we do and, and they are like one person, one vote, and we can have all sort of structures, different structures for that. But Cambiatus is a kind of a co-op evolved with blockchain, mm -hmm. which is we call it a collaborative okay. So, so the, the communities, we have, a, for example, this community in Costa Rica Verdes, Muda, which is the oldest community in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, Play for Change in Brazil too, uh, Agelgo in Ethiopia. All these communities, are they have a leadership team. Okay. Uh, and behind, uh, people in Verdes is a group of volunteer people from the community, supported by uh, an NGO, like administratively, let's say. In Brazil, it's a collective of artists and and cultures. They have also support of a uh, um, like a big fund in Brazil. In Ethiopia, it's people from an NGO called Fear Fund. Yeah. Uh, and Play for Change is a it's a business. It's a group of people that created a, this organization. It's a DAO, right? So it's different, but people, the team behind each, each community, they are members of Cambiatus. So contribute to Cambiatus to sustain the infrastructure. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, the users, they don't pay fees because in Costa Rica, in Verde, we have almost uh, 3,000 members. In, in Brazil, 4,000, something like that. In Ethiopia, more than 600 now. Uh, so that the committees are members of Cambia, and uh, and the um, 
important for us. And the, 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 the things they pursue are important. So in, in Mura, in Brazil, it, they are focused on culture and yeah. organic food producing in, in collaboration in art. Uh -huh. okay. Learning to art in play for change. They they support uh, young people in favelas in these low income neighborhoods in Rio de Janeiro mm -hmm. to learn to claim to to take the first first steps in the DeFi world through play for, play to earn games. So by playing, awesome. they learn. They yeah. are about learning. Um, Verde is about them and local community, local exchanges in between neighbors. Uh, Agile is about small businesses led by women. So all those things are in our, really close to our heart. Mm -hmm. and, and we try to look for communities that are aligned with our values. Uh, we have a new community in Brazil that is Surf Limpo, which is a community of surfers and, okay. environmental, <laughs> and environmental people. Cool. Uh, we have, so that's also really close to our heart. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's being organic. We small communities came because other communities suggested them some through our connections, our network, uh, through the website. Yeah, so you dived into a bunch of things here. <laughs> uh, I want to hear maybe a little bit more about the the art project. Like also, like about the, for example, about the verification. Because you, I guess you have some kind of action that has to trigger the, like generating uh, the, the c currency, yeah. right? So how does how yeah. does that kind of work? And is that different for all the projects, or what are kind of the the limits there and challenges? Okay, okay, I'm going to show you an example. I think it's better. Yeah, I think show. that would be awesome. Right. Maybe you can so share the share. screen. Share my screen exactly. Okay, let me know when you can see it. Um, yeah, I, I yep. see it. Yep. Are you, are you seeing a map? Yeah, I see it. You're under the numbers, right? Cool, cool, cool. So this is just to, to show, this is the website. Uh -huh. .com. Here you can find, this is on the home page. This is a, a, a map of the current communities that are active, the ones in, the ones in, in yellow and the ones that are closed because they were like a pilot experience. And we have other that are in progress, right? To be created. Yeah. But here, here you can find the, the, the general numbers and how many members we have now per committee. That's just to show you. And this is the, this is the, um, the app. I'm going to show this. Okay. Let me see. This is, um, what you see when you go into the app and the, the, our, your, your dash. Let me show another community. Yeah. And that's basically the app for the, the organization to govern the, the currency. Exactly. And make changes and see the numbers, stuff like that. Exactly. All, all, of, all of it. All of it. And this is what everyone uses. Okay. Right? You can, and it's a web app and you can have access to it through your phone. It's really beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is Muda. Uh -huh. which is the Brazilian, the Brazilian community. They have, I can show you here, they have um, almost 5,000 users now for something. Cool. They, this is the oldest community. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, let me just, uh, reading in Portuguese and thinking in English is complicated. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see. This is, um, uh, uh, this is a, a virtual community that was, created by artists, clowns, uh, cultural promoters, surfers, hackers. You know, it's a really, okay. really beautiful people, really creative people. Also and they people. wanted cool people. And they wanted to promote cultural, edu educational, and, and environmental activities in Rio de Janeiro, starting there, and now it's in other cities too. Uh, this was, the context of this community when they started was in, before the pandemic, uh, Brazil got a new president, which is kind of a Trump version, Brazilian uh -huh. version of Trump. So they cut a lot of uh, budget for uh, cultural activities in Brazil. And in Rio de Janeiro, that's huge. Many people work all year long, you know, only for carnival. 
right? So the cultural activities, music, dancing, all that is really yeah. important. Many people that, and that was cut down. And then the pandemic started. So that was the context of Mura. So they started creating these virtual events that mm -hmm. people can join. And they were paying the artists to present, to perform. Uh, half of the payment was in the HEI, which is the currency, fiat money, and half mm -hmm. of it was paid in Mura. Okay. So I was presenting my art, then I was getting Mura, and I could go to the shop and see what other people were offering. So suddenly, a lot of people were offering products. And who are, who are these people? Are they all part of the organization or just all sorts this of is people? All, this is all peer-to-peer. -peer. All the members in Muda could be people, individuals, could be organizations. Okay. And uh, here, for example, this is the organization, the Center for Local Traditions, and they are uh, offering a, a school of samba, right? So you can go there and, and do samba uh -huh. with them, oh, awesome. right? Yeah. And this is someone, this is someone just study and I mean, selling some second hand things, right? So it can be in the community one, food, uh, uh, this is my offer here on social currency, like content, learning, materials, educational lessons, right? Whatever. And then the artist will go here and maybe buy a feijoada, which is a traditional Brazilian food using their Buddha. And they were not using their head. So suddenly they, they were having access to food, thanks to Muda. So that was the beginning. Now, uh, if you want to, so that's a, a way to get Muda. You can offer something to the community, like your service, okay. right? your time, a performance. You get Muda as a payment, and then you can use it. The other way is to earn Muda, and then you explore the community objectives, which are here. For example, uh, they have this, sorry, that is not right? But this is a match funding uh, in other platforms. So if you go to the to this platform and you contributed financially to this campaign, you can come here and claim a MUDA, kind of a cashback for your, for your right? Yeah. Uh, it went to a volunteering day with uh, this organization. Uh, then you will get claim seventy five, right? Okay. If uh, if you collaborated, and this is a beautiful project at AA, which is community that supports art and agroecology. This is a project that is supporting farming or pre uh, food producing mm -hmm. with investment, and then the food is available on the shop here to be bought in Muda, right? So yeah. you can collaborate, planting, you can go to a workshop, you can, right? So there are many objects here. And let's say I say, well, I, yes, I did this, right? I did uh -huh. this workshop, I'm going to claim it, right? Like, and here they are asking me for a proof, a photo, maybe a photo of the event, something. They could yeah. I ask for something specific, like upload a PDF of, of your ticket to the event. Whatever. So that's the and validator I, in a sense. In a sense, yes. yeah. And then I claim, I claim this, and uh, let me see if I do this. Ah, I don't have anything here, but hearing something like this. I'm going to show this uh -huh. as an example, just to show you how the claiming process goes. Um, oh, this is not the one. This one. So, just a quick question: when you, when you then maybe upload the picture to show yes. you did whatever you had to do, right? Do the right. Do the leaders of the community then just have to see that picture and then it's kind of verified, or do you guys do exactly. that? Or exactly. So, for example, in this case, uh, this uh, in Muda, Muda has a team of people and they could define anyone from the community to be verified. So, yeah. for example, if the, if the action is go volunteering with the a non-profit called Aqua, someone from Aqua could be verifying that, at least two, two, three people. Or someone from the Muda team, right? Yeah, so this is awesome. And they different. can design it the way they want. So exactly. So they, exactly. they, they decide example. who can verify. In a way. Exactly. This is an example of something that I claimed in another community that was approved. 
this is the reward in this currency, which is called the go. And two people voted, approved this. Mm -hmm. That was the minimum that I needed. And there were more people that could vote, right? But they didn't. Yeah. And, and I uploaded this verifying image, which was asked for me. So, so they get this, something like this. They will see something like this, and they will be able to approve, right? Like vote or not on the action. Um, let me see if there's another one here. Sure. So that's pretty much. And then if you get enough the votes that you need, then you get the currency, and then you can use it, right? Yeah. That's and the cool. person that the, it, we are using ourselves, uh, these two communities I'm showing here, CMB Go and CMBX, these are communities that currencies for the members of Cambia, so people that are contributing software development, design services to Cambia, claim this currency, and then they can even cash out if they want to have a different system here. But all the communities, all the currencies, Verdes, Muda, they are, they only circulate between their members. They are not, not changeable by dollars or other crypto. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they are abundant. So if you claim more, then you get more Muda. Right? If more people are claiming more actions, there are more, there are more Muda in circulation. Yeah. Uh, so this is, this is, uh, I can invite other people and get a reward if I invite someone, mm -hmm. and and that's pretty much. I can see what other people are offering here. Right, that looks great. So, Carla, right? um, as you explain it, right, I'm having a bit of a thought about inflation, in a sense. Sorry. Uh, like as you explain it, I'm wondering. If, for example, the Muda, right, is it kind of uh, inflationary in a sense? Because, you know, as more and more oh. people are onboarded, you will generate more and more Muda. Is that kind of an incentive to spend it as well? Or how do you see the kind of tokenomics, if we can say it in that sense? Sure, sure. Good question. Um, so, first of all, you need to think about this in a different, with a different framework. Okay. Right? So, this is not hard. It's scarcity based currency, right? So it's not because if it's scarce, that is valuable, right? Yeah. This is, this is one thing. The, this is valuable, this is usable because people are accepting it. And because there is a community that is able to exchange between them, right? Yeah. Pretty much the important thing. Uh, the other thing that is important is that you, you saw, for example, I don't know, one Muda, and I can show that on the website. Um, the community can decide if they want to like an equivalent, like official equivalent in terms of, um, let me see, let me know if you are seeing my screen. Yeah, I see it. Yep. So you can see here, for example, uh, Muda, mm -hmm. we have already this amount of Muda in circulation, and this is one to one to Brazilian real, Brazilian uh, how is, is, la, is the national currency of Brazil. So one Muda equals one how. And one how is roughly a little bit less than $6, right? Okay. So that's, that's the amount of Muda in circulation. And they decided that. They could change that at any point, but it's, that's the, the decision. In Costa Rica, the same. They did one-to-one -to, -one to Costa Rica alone. Just make it easier for people, right? So you know, I'm selling this pen, and this pen is ten dollars so I'm going to sell it by five colonies and five I mean whatever right yeah. one to one two dollars five dollars and five colonies a five uh there's a trick but to make it easy for people different here in play play which is the play for change uh, currency their equivalent is one play for change is uh -huh. equal to one so P, which is our cryptocurrency uh the smooth love potion from um, Axis, Axis game, yeah. play to earn games. So it's that addition. So there's, there, there's this, right? So there's, that's their balance. Yeah. Um, we haven't had any issue with uh, the amount of currency in circulation. What happens is 
if you have a lot of, for example, Muras has, now it has a lot of currency in circulation. There are many, many people that have a lot of Muras available. Yeah. So they are more folks, they have less actions active to claim and more opportunities to exchange. They are focused on having more things on the shop, having more uh, products to offer, encourage people to use the, the Muras more, having more events that people can use the Muras. Right? So they are focused on the the exchange part. Other communities like uh which is starting, they are focused on creating more actions so people can have agile to actually start trading and start exchange. Yeah. So they can change, they can change, they can create more objectives, less objectives, more actions to claim, less actions to claim uh, over time. This is a kind of revision process. It's not like setting stone from the beginning. They can change all the things that I show you showed you here. Yeah. So if something is kind of unbalanced, you can change yeah, they it can, to get less they can, of that they or could, more of that. For example, a Verdes community in Costa Rica, they had a lot of Verdes in circulation at one point. So they decided to just keep, I don't know, last year, one or two actions. Yeah. To, that, was, that was it. The rest sense. of it, if you want, you want that, go to the up and offer something. People will pay you back. So the importance of this currency is that it's all circulating. That's the purpose. Not to be hoarded, but to be circulated. Yeah. Right? That's the beauty of the social currency. The value is connection. The movement. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess hopefully as more and more people join the currency, more and more people will also put up prices okay. to buy or like sell items or exactly. do actions so it kind of it kind of aligns if the system is set exactly. up correctly yeah that makes sense exactly. well makes sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah it makes sense it makes sense so i was wondering if you want to share your screen again maybe we can go into the different like plans you guys have i know some of it you have like a it's, i don't know if it was like into five what? or six huh into what like the different plants like uh, membership plans ah yeah because uh, I, I saw you have like maybe five and two of them are actually or one of them is actually free as well mm -hmm. yeah that's so cool like so maybe you can different. just go through what the different uh components of the plans mean sure let, let me know when you're seeing my screen i see it yes cool so here on the website you can go here to i want to start and you will see this uh, different information, the methodology, the plan, and how to start. So the methodology explains what that's explained by the third, the three steps. And when I say that people can change the objectives and actions, that means they can go back to co-design, right? Uh -huh. When that's changed, and then they implement it on the app, and then they review it again, and then again. because the context changes, it's different if you are in the middle of the pandemic, it's different now. For many communities in the middle of the pandemic, the activity was really high. A lot of people was using the, the currency. Now less people is using the currency, and that's good. That's okay. Yeah. So the currency is kind of complementing the national uh, economy, right? If the national economy is a little bit better, people will use the social currency a, a little bit less, and that's okay. When the new crisis hits, we will be and they can use the currency again. So that's it. Why, why, that's the reason why this is a look. So this is the methodology. Um, we have also a demo environment that you can create communities to play, to play around that I can be deleted afterwards. And then we have the plans. So Cambiato is a collaborative business. All the communities contribute a little bit according to their possibilities. Uh, they also contribute with uh, paying features. But in this case, if you just go to want to start the code design, you can go here, complete all the uh, educational part, and then you can take all the um, uh, code design steps free. Then you can use the the um, the demo version for free to start to play to to to, to play around, and then you can have our help. If you want our help, it has a 15 bucks uh, monthly, monthly fee just yeah. to help you to help you keep. That's really not like a lot. It's like, this is like the like Netflix plan, <laughs> right? <laughs> so 
while you play for next week, you will you can contribute that to Kavdatus and, and we will help you to, to stay yeah. firm. Yeah. Uh, then you can, I will give you access to the governance token we have for Kavdatus, which is in the goal. So you're, that makes you a member of it. So with your contribution, you are contributing to our community fund, let's say, or liquidity pool. And then you will get a little bit of reward at the end of the year. But, um, then with this, another, the second tier um, uh, plan, um, yeah. you will get PNB token, which is a financial return on your, on your contribution to Cambiato. And then with the third one, which is, for example, Agelgo from Ethiopia is in this plan, Muda Tutu. Mm -hmm. We have monthly or bi-weekly sessions with them to follow up with the community, to support them, to make improvements, to help them with coding or strategies, etc. All the code design process and annually we do like a review if, it, if they need to create a report for their funders or something like that, they can help with all of that. So those are the three, the three plans. And to start, uh, it's a cool form here just to start and pretty pretty easy. awesome seems pretty cool so i wonder what's next in the pipeline for our like oh, what are your um, what are your challenges currently if you have any <laughs> and what's kind many. of uh what are you thinking about doing in the future sort of a ro roadmap kind of thing yeah many challenges um i think when you are we are in the frontier with this thing even with mm -hmm. social currency Social currencies are something that have been, have been around for millennia, but using blockchain technology brings a lot of strengths, but also a lot of challenges, right? So, and also we are um, uh, doing a lot of, taking a lot of steps to create the, the governance for Cambiatus and the law behind it, and that's all challenging. But all good, all good. The, the roadmap, you can see it here on the website too. Um, oh. So, so quick, and in the things that we have done recently, uh, we did that exit to community process, as we call it, which is, uh, you know, in, in Silicon Valley, the startup, an exit is selling to, I don't know, to Google or Facebook or a big company. Yeah? Our, our aim was not to sell Cambiato, but to share the governance with the members. So that's what yeah. we call exit to community. And we created the two tokens, CNBX and CNB Go. CNBX is for services, people that are contributing services to Cambiatus, and people with governance tokens. Uh, we created this, all these onboarding, the membership plans and all that. And um, many features that you can find on the app now, the transfer, the objectives and actions, playing, you work, etc. All that is done. Things that we're working on, we are working on what we call the Cambiatus liquidity pool, is how to manage our collective funds. We are training the people, members for Cambiatus to be able to <clears throat> to do trading for Cambiatus to make it grow. Um, we are creating this auto onboarding for community that we are in testing phase, uh, which is what people will experience if they go to the I want to start process. Mm -hmm. uh, we are working on these features, a new shop, because our shop at the moment is kind of a, 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 a board, uh, like a board, <laughs> right? You can, you sure. can see the what people offer and you send them money, that's it. It's yeah. not like a full Amazon-like experience, right? Oh. The steps of, it has, doesn't have orders and things to, to follow up. So we are working on that. We have two, two new shirts that are in test, which are the broadcast and new digest. There a way to messages to people through the app. And also the idea with people sponsorship. All this is in testing now. You can see it on the app. Is like a beta version, um, and we did an, our first um, collection of Natus units, which are uh, another project called System, like part of the Cambiatus ecosystem. It's a crypto asset for environmental conservation, and we also did a, an NFT collection that people can see here with the Natus. So if you want to support. Cambiatus and Natus, you can go here to Sistema Natus, let me put it in English, systemanatus.com, yeah. and you can you can buy uh, the NFTs for sale to support uh, private research in Brazil. So we are, this is also another experiment. 
And the next, the next steps are, well, how we improve these governance tools we have, right? All these very fine actions, voting, all those things. Um, we are implemented with roles and permissions in Cambiatus to allow people more flexibility and how they uh, have more help, right? Not only one or two admin, but more people helping. Yeah. But uh, and we would love to, to make integrations with other systems, for example, we were exploring integrating with Celo for payments or with Threefold for infrastructure. These are things that we have been exploring. And we are planning our first uh, play to earn game coming probably next year. Yeah. Which will, we will feature this nature NFT. That's so cool. So that's okay, coming. so you guys have quite a, you, you're cre creating kind of an <laughs> ecosystem almost, I guess you could say. Yes, yes. That's pretty cool. That's awesome. Thank well, you. Thank you. Carla, <laughs> are there any uh, awesome features that I didn't uh, we didn't get around before I let you go? Uh, are there any what? If there are any like awesome features that we didn't highlight before I let you go. Ah, awesome features in Cambetu. Um I will be right now to test if you want to create a community having the sponsorship which is a, a possibility of people to support your community financially with fiat and yeah. then get up back a reward we have that and um and i think only just just what, whatever the communities do with cambiatos is always awesome i mean we we create the basic the baseline right the small yeah. piece which is the technology but their creativity with that is fantastic so for example now in, in ethiopia they have a weekly or monthly marketplace, live marketplace that people can attend, same in Verdes, to pay with Muda, to, eh, to pay with the, their currency. They mm -hmm. also have a tech center, so people go there, people without a phone, they can go to this tech center and they will have people there, a computer, they could go in Cambia to learn how to use it, learn about blockchain. Yeah. And people that usually doesn't know how to use the phone, they are learning how to use blockchain and, and currencies, which is awesome. And what they are doing in in Mura is fantastic, which is supporting blockchain as food in times of pandemic, in pandemic times, which is yeah. the most important thing we could do. Uh, and paying and, 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 and supporting this producing uh, these food producers, which are also members of the community, and then this food, uh, making that food available on the shop for people to buy it with Muda. I mean, all those things are not things that we designed in the app, right? Yeah. But they, their, cre their creativity and what to do with what the app and what the logic of the high cambiatus allows them to do, yeah. it, always, it always amazes. So uh, I am always waiting for the next creative thing they, they come up. Um, that's awesome always always um surprise it must feel great to kind of facilitate all these organizations and great values behind them it's an honor it is yeah. an honor i always i mean when when we met we have an, an a session with all the members every month to to, discuss, to learn about each other etc yeah and when they share their, their their stories and what they are doing i i always <laughs> oh, <Aww. laughs> that's cute. <laughs> um, that's when you know you're, you're in the right space. That that when you know that. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I I really believe in the idea of making something as like a small change, and and allowing life to unfold. Right. Yeah. So it's, it's, that's called technically local activity principle. If I do. Put a little effort here, a little change here, yeah. and that creates uh, ripples. So I am really excited about what people could do with this in the future. The challenges um, uh, in terms of how uh, how to bring more financial sustainability to all of this, which we are already in in the way to achieve fully, uh, mm -hmm. and also how to how to create a more transparent and, and focused governance for everyone to be able to collaborate and have financial rewards too. 
And also how to better explain this to people, right? To create more materials and educational content. Yeah. To to because we have a lot of things that they are not in written form yet or in a video or something. This is a fantastic video because I, I already <laughs> shared a lot of things. This yeah. will be fantastic. Uh, but we need to write down more and share more. Yeah. Those are I think uh, that's a great note to leave it here. Thank you so much for uh, joining me for the conversation. I'll uh, make sure to put all of your you guys' like website, social, stuff like that in the description so people can check you out. Thank you. Awesome. It was a pleasure. It was yeah. fun. Thank you, Carl. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.